A Clinton man being recognized for being in the right place with the right skills to help save a neighbor who was suffering from a heart attack. WAT 6 on your side's Ella Wales talked with both men. Joins us now in the studio live to tell us more. Ella. Kyle Case is a registered nurse and paramedic who put his skills to use when he found out his neighbor was having a medical emergency. Kyle Case was getting home from baseball with his son when he got a phone call from his wife. She said, hey, there's a, a fire truck across the street over at uh, Chalice's house. His neighbor, Chalice Bingham, was suffering from a heart attack, and Case didn't hesitate to step in while he and the firefighters on the scene waited for the ambulance to arrive. Um, you know, so at the time, I wanted to get an IV and get some fluids going because my resources were limited uh, since I didn't have an, an ambulance on scene. We couldn't run an EKG, didn't have access to a whole bunch of, of medicine uh, to really do any treatment at the time, but I had the fire department. Which allowed him to get the IV in. When EMS arrived, Bingham was transported to the hospital where he learned about Case's actions. One of the first things I remember the doctor telling me is that, man, you're lucky to be alive. If your neighbor had not intervened and came over and put that IV in you, you would be dead. After learning about his neighbor stepping in, he wanted to thank him, so he reached out to Anderson County Mayor Terry Frank. Well, I've known the mayor for many years, and we were at a meeting together, and and uh, I had wrote up a uh, proclamation and asked her if she could uh, do something with it. And Mayor Frank presented Case with a plaque and named March 25th as Kyle Case Day to honor him for his brave actions. I don't do it to, you know, get awards. Um, you know, I do it to, to help people because it's, you know, what I feel my calling is. Um, it's what I feel, you know, something that I'm good at that I can give back to the people, um, you know, but for, you know, you know, for, for it to be this, this close to me and, you know, a, a neighbor and, you know, for them to feel, uh, you know, compelled to, you know, go to the mayor and, and you know, seek that recognition uh, was, was very meaningful. As for Bingham, he's recovering well from the incident. I just thank God for life and I'm glad I'm still alive. I also found out that Case and his family actually bought their house from Bingham's son. And at the time, Case made a promise to look out for Bingham while they are neighbors. I think he's kept that promise, that's for sure. Thank you, Ella. In case you're wondering, administering an IV with a heart attack is actually done to restore circulatory volume and increase blood pressure, which, as we also just heard, can make a difference between life and death.